who isn't overjoyed about tying the knot. With the exception of those who were under duress at the time of their wedding, most of us would be overjoyed. A wedding is one of the most important events in a person's life. It's the first step in the process of creating a family. A wedding is a symbol of dedication and the foundation of your love for your companion. It's a statement to the entire world of your undying love for your spouse. Building a great home begins with selecting your life partner, which is officiated in a ceremony known as a wedding. A proper marriage is essential because it binds you to a lifetime commitment. It is a way of openly expressing your deep devotion to the person with whom you intend to spend the rest of your life. It may not be the most important day for some, but it is for others. We'll find out her entire story at the end of the video, but first, like and share it with others, and make sure you're subscribed and have the notifications bell turned on. This is the case with Becky, who has always desired to be surrounded by her loved ones on her wedding day. Let's find out together more about her and her life. Becky Torney's wedding last week featured an empty chair in memory of her 19-year-old son, who died nearly two years ago. She had no idea, however, that she would literally feel her son's presence at the ceremony through a surprise guest, the man who had his heart transplanted. Let's find out together the story. Maggie's groom had flown Jacob Kilby from San Diego to Alaska in secret and kept him hidden from the bride until just before the wedding. Kilby, who was born with a heart condition, received Becky's son Tristan Green's heart in a transplant on October 20, 121 5. They had exchanged messages online and over the phone on Becky's birthday and had never met in person until last Friday night. She'd gone insane and she screeched like a schoolgirl and was jumping up and down. Becky told Today that it was incredible and the exchange was captured in a series of photographs that quickly went viral after being posted on the Facebook page of Amber Landfill, owner of Love Adventure, a wedding photographer. Becky is seen in one of the photos with a stethoscope listening to Jacob's heart. There are no words to describe the feeling, and that's the coolest part because the pictures say everything. Becky said she has admired her groom and partner for the past seven years. She have never been so flabbergasted, as if ever. She was the girl who secretly unwraps and rewraps all of the Christmas presents under the tree. So it was incredible for him to pull this off, said Becky 40. Kelly, 44, said it took months of planning and some deception to keep Jacob Bryce hidden until the moment he presented the young man as a sixth groomsman. He acknowledged there wasn't a dry eye in the house after that she got yelled at quite a bit for messing up people's makeup, Kelly said. Jacob, who was 21 year old, was having his second child with hypoplastic left heart syndrome when he received the transplant. He had three heart surgeries before receiving his first transplant when he was two years old, However, this heart began to fail about two years ago. Instead of leaving for college around that time, Jacob suffered a heart attack and was placed on a transplant waiting list for the second time in his life. Finally, on October 21, 2015, his surgery and recovery went off without a hitch. There has not been a single complication with the transplant. Everything has been perfect, he said, and he enjoys surfing, and he goes to the gym and exercise every day. He has returned to his normal self, while Becky and Kelly refuse to go into specifics about Tristan's death, and they want the emphasis to be on organ donation, as well as the relationship and healing that occurs between recipient and donor families. That's where they're concentrating their efforts, according to Kelly. Jacob agreed, expressing gratitude for Tristan's decision to register as an organ donor, and he wouldn't be here if it hadn't been for it. The recent outpouring of media attention on the story has been overwhelming for everyone involved. Jacob, on the other hand, expressed hope that it will inspire not only more people to sign up as organ donors, but also communication between donor families and organ recipients. He explained that you never know what you're going to get. By sharing the story, they've definitely created an unforgettable and very rare bond here in Alaska. It will hopefully inspire others to do the same. Tristan's other vinyl organs saved four more lives, including that of a lung recipient whose family has since contacted Becky. She hopes that after hearing her story, she will be able to connect with the other recipients. Those bonds they're forming are priceless and they're getting better. Although it's incredible to see how Tristan changed Jacob's life, it fills her with pride as Becky described her daring son as the type of person who becomes everyone's best friend. 
He made people feel good about themselves, and he exhorted them to face the world. He was also rooting for the underdog, she explained. Tristan would have loved all the attention he's getting now, she joked. He would have beaten up on the attention and was the life of the party and the center of attention at all times. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with someone else who might enjoy it as well. And make sure your browser's notification bell is turned on. Hopefully, you'll keep it in mind at all times.